Hello and welcome to this tutorial on which I will explain how to create a rope and starting from the, uh, this, uh, this element, this pattern. Okay, first of all we have to go on a space on our page, activate uh, enable snapping, enable uh, cusp node snapping and on the grid. In fact, we need a, a grid. I selected a grid on it's it's five millimeters square, and now I start to trace my first quarter of the element. Okay, so, okay, snap on a point of grid, going up to another point, going down on the same line of the original point and click double. Uh, okay, I have to fill it and remove the stroke for the moment. Okay, now I have to transform it a little bit. I have to dismiss the snap function, selecting both, I insert in the middle another point and maintaining control key pressed, I put it a little bit forward, transforming on a symmetrical to give uh, such an appearance. Now I have to create the second quarter of this image, of, the, of my element, I can do that simply by uh, the selecting this selecting another color to contrast with this pink, uh, create a rectangle and snap again, not on the uh, grid but on cusp nodes. Okay, I got it. I transform in path, I send on uh, back to prepare for doing a difference between path. In fact, the red visible part is the uh, is matching with the, the pink part. So I am interested in this effect. For difference, I select the pink part, duplicate it, then selecting the other red part and make the difference. Now I move the red part to snap to uh, the previously uh, created uh, part. So I have my first uh, half of the project. I can give it the same color. Now I have to duplicate and uh, to put the figure in, uh, in place. Duplicate it by Ctrl D, then uh, make a horizontal and vertical flip and then OK. I have this uh, my, my figure. Most important thing now is the weight of the, the height of the, the middle point. It's important when we will put this pattern on the path. We have it's the height of the uh, 110 is this side. Okay, 110 millimeters. Now we can make an union and give a proper stroke. Okay. Now we can dismiss the view of the grid. We can deselect the uh, snap menu. We can shrink. Uh, no, better not. Okay, we will be a, a gigantic rope, no mind. The most important is maintain this proportion because we have a, uh, it's important to maintain 110 pixel large this uh, element. Let's draw a, a rope using a free hand uh, with a good smoothing. Remove fill. Okay, this is the our rope enlarge maybe a little bit. Okay. 
we can't we can now eliminate that and uh, let's put the object the pattern in place pattern must be uh, put along a path uh, but before we had to raise the selection the pattern at top then select the bot and generate from path pattern along path the menu is open is uh, we choose not single but uh, repeated repeated and stretched along the path let's see the preview okay we can apply this observing we have a gap between our elements we have to repeat this operation at least twice okay by shifting the two further application by a particular amount the amount is the uh, width of the of this element let's select again and let's select our path to we move the object 110 let's see okay as you can see the new element is next to the previous one apply and doing this a third time taking care to increase the tangential offset accordingly now will be 220 let's see if it work it's work fine I'm I'm quite satisfied so I apply okay we select the uh, original path and we can move it away okay oh, some problem in visualizations only cosmetics now we can select our group and path combine okay strange effect here I don't know why now I want to work on, on every single element of this new created path so I have to do path break apart so you can manage every single uh, element let's see this part of the rope passing uh, above this one so I click the proper elements more or less let's see this one and bring a top it's still this one okay now vice versa for here I have to select these three elements putting it at top now we can add some shadowing some effect first of all I have to I have to group the rope object group I can duplicate with control D and applying a fill on the stroke black sending on uh, on the back and then let a little bit appear on the back uh, a blur of uh, 0 0.5 let's see okay could be enough and then I also use the original uh, path for um, giving a little light effect on, on the on the rope let's turn it white and wide uh, 16 okay well let blur it a little okay now we have some intersection here could be removed so we work on this path adding a node here by double clicking selecting both and delete here 
and here okay selecting button and doing the same uh, delete segment between two unknown endpoint nodes that's our case now all our rope is uh, almost finished more talented artists could add some better effect for shadowing but it's uh, it's almost all for me <laughs> thank you for watching